Hello everyone, my name is Darren and welcome to another Safe Squad video. This week we'll be covering the cancelled Superconducting Super Collider project out in Waxahachie, Texas. Now, before we get into it, I'm sure many of you saw a Hadron Collider in the title and knew what it was, whereas many of you possibly clicked on the video to learn what a Hadron Collider or Particle Accelerator is. So we'll offer a brief explanation real fast to get everyone up to speed. Hadron Colliders help physicists better understand the conditions of the universe during the Big Bang. A Hadron Collider takes particles and uses magnets to accelerate the beams of particles, or hadrons, in opposite directions at near light speed, which encourages the hadrons to collide. Physicists then study the results of these collisions in an attempt to answer the many unanswered questions about the beginnings of our universe. We'll leave a link to an article that better explains how and why Hadron Colliders are used. When we say the words particle accelerator, you may be thinking of CERN, a company based in Switzerland who specializes in these huge particle accelerators. It may surprise you to find that the United States has attempted to dip their toes in the supposed different dimensions that a particle accelerator can access for a brief period of time. This project is known as a Superconducting Super Collider, or SSC for short. The idea was first formally discussed in 1976, and design began in 1983 when President Ronald Reagan's science advisor told the design committee to be bold and greedy. Reagan approved the project in 1987, encouraging physicists to throw deep. Early names for the collider included the Ronald Reagan Accelerator and the Desertron because it was so large it could only be built in the U.S. Southwest. Construction began in 1991 on what would have been the largest particle accelerator in the world in the small, unassuming town of Waxahachie, Texas. Believe it or not, the SSC was set to become three times as big as the current CERN Super Collider in Europe. The estimated circumference was going to be 87.1 kilometers. To put this into perspective, the CERN Super Collider is only 27 kilometers in circumference. Terra electron volts, or TEV, is the unit of measurement in particle acceleration. If completed, the SSC would have accelerated protons with a capacity of 40 TeV per beam, much more than CERN's current world record of 14 TeV. Construction on the project reached an advanced state, but was ultimately defunded by Congress on October 21, 1993. This would leave the superconductor to wither away into obscurity as we look on to what new discoveries could have been made with this grandiose project. Before the project was discarded, the United States had already invested $2 billion into the project, while it was initially estimated to only take $4.4 billion. They already had 14 miles of tunnels completed, or about 23.4 kilometers. There are various reasons why this behemoth never came to fruition. Budget concerns were highest on the list. Also, the Soviet Union collapsing degraded the need for the United States to race to scientific superiority as a superpower. The inability to secure any foreign sources of funding was pivotal, especially as the project's cost increased by a factor of three from previous estimates amid a national recession and insistence on controlling government spending. The project scale was 20 times bigger than anything physicists had ever managed before. Differences between the scientific side of the accelerator's management and the military industry imposed by the U.S. Department of Energy led to conflicts, seemingly endless audits and an overall lack of trust. Like in Congress, not all physicists endorsed the project. Prominent condensed matter physicists such as Philip W. Anderson and Nicholas Bloembergen testified before Congress opposing the project. They argued that although the SSC would certainly conduct high-quality research, it was not the only way to acquire new fundamental knowledge, as some of its supporters claimed. And, of course, it was also unreasonably expensive. The superconducting super collider could have been home to some of the world's most significant scientific discoveries, much like the Large Hydron Collider is today. For now, an incredibly disappointing large network of buildings and tunnels lies underneath Texas soil. For most of the residents in the surrounding area of the SSC, the project isn't too widely known about, and the lost potential just fades into the night. After cancellation, the main research facility on the surface would be deeded to Ellis County. Numerous attempts to sell the site fell through until August 2006 when an investment group led by J.B. Hunt purchased the site. Again, in 2012, the site would be sold to MagnaBlend, a chemical company. For a time, this facility would be abandoned. However, today it is active and you cannot visit it. We tried and we really didn't get far. Some people believe that the collider had been completed and is in use today. However, it's more reasonably believed that the underground complex has been flooded since abandonment. Well, that's it for this video. It's crazy to think that the United States could have led the scientific discovery of the Higgs boson, or God particle. I guess we can't miss what we never had. Anyways, please like, comment, subscribe, and make sure you turn on that notification bell so you don't miss a video from us. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. As always, stay safe.